Hello everyone, welcome to EduTab and also welcome to the series which we have started for IBPS A4 mains exam that is for 2020-21 and this is MCQ series and as part of that series today we are going to do lecture number 36 on pest of horticulture crops. See guys, I request you to subscribe to our YouTube channel in case you are new here so that you can get daily videos which will be you know helpful for the preparation of IBPS A4 exam, NABAD exam and various other relevant you know competitive examinations. And you can also join our telegram channel so as to get you know daily updates and free content for your preparation. Guys, we want to tell you about the EduTap Hall of Fame. See, EduTap has been delivering highest selections in India consistently since the past few years in, uh, you know, RBA grade B, NABAD grade A, SEBI grade A as well as IBPS A4 exams. And in case you want to know more about the strategies that are followed by toppers, then please do visit our channel where you can find the interviews of the toppers where they you know discussed about the strategies which they have followed and might be they might be you know helpful in pre your preparation and planning as well and we offer you know courses in rbi grade b nabad grade a nabad grade b sebi grade a epfo ao or eo as well as ibps a4 mains and see, in case you want to know more about the courses and the features of the courses, please drop us a mail at edutap. Hello at the rate edutap.co.in or you can give us a call also at 8146207241. And also kindly note that the links to the courses have been already uh, provided in the description box. You can go through them as per your convenience. So let's start with the uh, let's start with the session, guys. Now. So friends, here comes the first question and the question says Virachola isocrates is a serious pest of. See friends, this is a serious pest of pomegranate which is commonly called as pomegranate butterfly or anar butterfly. And as you can see here, it's Virachola isocrates. This is adult moth of that uh, butterfly or adult butterfly. And the symptoms include caterpillar bores into young fruits and feeds on the internal content that is both pulp as well as seeds because of which fruit rotting can happen and sometimes even fruit dropping also and see what might be the management practices that can be followed so as to avoid or reduce the losses because of this attack. See we can uh, the farmer can collect and destroy the damaged fruits. Clean cultivation should be done because sometimes weed plants can be alternative host for these uh, anar butterfly that is virachola isocrates. Endem in endemic areas, the farmers can go grow, you know, less susceptible varieties. So that is the, they are res, uh, uh, disease resistant to these butterflies or less susceptible. Then one more important thing that can be done by the farmer is covering the fruits with polythene bags when the fruits are up to five centimeters or using of light traps at one, uh, you know, one per hectare to monitor the activity of adults or the farmer can even go for insecticides like malathion 50 EC 0.1 percentage concentration or dimethoate 30 EC 0.06 percentage two rounds one at flowering formation and the next right fruit set and at flowering stage he can even go for natural uh, insecticides like neem seed kernel extract 5 percent or neem formulations 2 ml per liter or some chemicals like uh, dimethoate 30 EC 1.5 ml per liter. This is all during flowering stage. And the farmer can also release trichogramma chylonis at 1 lakh per acre, you know, which act as larvicidal or, you know, uh, that acts as a parasite. It's a parasitoid on the eggs or larvae of these anar butterfly. So friends, lemon butterfly is, see lemon butterfly is papilio demolius and it attacks the lemon trees and wherein what happens is the symptoms include the young larvae found on the upper surface of the leaves feeding of the leaf lamina from margin if this is the leaf this is a midrib so it starts feeding from outside like this so it starts from feeding from the outer leaf margin towards the midrib and grown-up larvae feed on matured leaves and cause severe defoliation of the entire plant because of which you know the yield drops drastically and 
what were what might be the management practices hand pick various stages of pest in nurseries or new orchards spraying entomogenous fungus bacillus thuringiensis at 1 gram per liter or nematode dd136 strain or neem seed extract 3% all these you know uh, help in gaining control over this uh, pest spraying endosulfon 35 ec 1.5 liter or quinolfos 25 ec or carbaryl 50 wp 2 liters in 1500 to 2000 liters of water per hectare during april and october also controls the attack of this pest so friends next come says which of the following pests is responsible for triangular cuts on leaves of coconut here the correct answer is rhinoceros beetle and it's called oryzits oryzits rhinoceros and the symptoms include the adult beetle bores into the unripened fronds and spades now damage by pest leads to 10 to 15% loss in yields and when uh, you know the frond this is the frond and when it fully opens it shows the characteristic triangular cuts as you can see here the triangular cuts one can see and central spindle appears cut or toppled fully open fronds show characteristic diamond shaped cuttings as you can see triangle or diamond shaped here holes with chewed fibers sticking out of the base of central uh, spindle can be observed uh, on the leaves and this is the adult rhinoceros beetle why it got its name rhinoceros beetle because it has a horn like structure on its head similar to rhinoceros hence this is also called as rhinoceros beetle so friends next comes is which of the following pests is responsible for dead heart in brinjal see here fruit and shoot borer of brinjal is responsible for dead hearts which is leucinodes orbonalis and the symptoms include withering of terminal shoots which lead to dead hearts and it they bore holes into shoots as well as fruits plugged with excreta sometimes you see you get to see this brinjal uh, Uh, fruit see this is the fruit and here you'll get some holes on it that is plugged with the excreta of this uh, larva and it feeds on the entire internal pulp and seeds and it damages the fruit shedding of flower buds if they attack the flower buds then flower buds shed and if attacks the you know shoot uh, because of that withering and drying of leaves can occur and also Uh, shedding of flower buds and what might be the management practices that can be followed removing the affected terminal shoot showing bore holes remove the affected fruits and destroy them so that they won't be able to attack others avoid continuous cropping of brinjal crop alternate uh, alternate cropping can be done with some other crop which where this can't survive this particular fruit and shoot borer of brinjal grow those varieties with long and narrow fruits in endemic areas which are you know less prone to this attack Installing pheromone traps at rate twelve per hectare so that you know the adults can be trapped. Encouraging the activity of larval parasites or rather than going for chemical you know insecticides or pesticides. Sorry. So they he is uh, he can go for Pristomeras, Testaceous, Cremasters, Flavor Vitalis, which act as larval parasitoids. So. they attack the larvae and induce disease and kill them so friends here comes the next question diamond back moth is a pest of which of the following crops and here diamond back moth is most commonly found as a pest in cabbage crop which is plutella xylostella and this is the diamond back moth and when it opens it wings no you can clearly see the diamond shape here and young caterpillars cause small yellow mines on leaves if this is the leaf sometimes you see some mine leaf miner sort of so they do that scraping of epidermal leaf tissue producing typical whitish patches on leaves can be observed full grown larvae bite holes in the leaves and feed on the curd and what might be the management practices removing and destroying all debris and stubbles after harvest of the crop so that whatever the eggs are there or the pupae they can be destroyed grow mustard as trap crop at the ratio of 2 is to 1 if two rows of cabbage is there one row of mustard can be grown to attract this diamond back moth for oviposition at least 10 days ahead of planting of the main crop 
so the planting of the mustard should be done at least 10 days uh, before the planting of cabbage crop or spray and spray the mustard crop with dichloro 76 wsc combination 0.076% to avoid dispersal of the larvae once the oviposition is done the eggs are laid if on the mustard crop uh, this dichlorwas can be is sprayed then the larvae will be killed or at uh, put some pheromone traps at the rate of 12 per hectare that can attract the adults crop rotation with cucurbits beans peas tomato and melon can be done so that the life cycle can be cut larval parasitoids can also be used di uh, diadigma uh, diadigma semiclosum at the rate of 1 lakh per hectare and cotisia plutelle this can be used in hills and cotisia can be used in plains uh, this can be done release should be done after from 20 days after planting so that they can directly attack the larvae if present bacillus thuringiensis is going to also be used variety kutztaki at rate of 2 grams per liter or neem seed kernel extract 5 percent can be sprayed over the crop so friends, this is, this is the answer to the homework question which was asked in the last session. The question said, which pest of bear has the following characteristics? First and second in star, yellow larvae feed superficially on the fruit while red third and fifth in star larvae bore deep into the fruit depend feeding on the pulp and accumulate feces in that. And the correct answer is bear fruit borer that is Meridarchus cyrodes. So the these bare fruit borer, they the first and two instar larvae, they are yellow in color and they feed superficially on the fruit. While the third and fifth instar, which are third two, fifth instar, which are red in color, they feed you know bore deep into the fruit and feed on the pulp and you know they accumulate all the feces in the fruit. So friends, here comes the homework question which says scientific name of stem girdler of grapes is. See this uh, pest, it girdles the stem of the grape, thereby, you know, yield decreases drastically. Thank you very much friends for your patient listening and if you have any queries regarding to anything, kindly write to us at hello at the rate edutap.co.in or you can give us a call at 8146207241